Many of my friends, when they hear me working on eye tracking and art, and we have had a couple of drinks, they make fun of me and say, you're, you're going to the dark side. As scientists, we are trained to reduce our experiences into their basic minimum ingredients that can still answer a question for us one way or another. And the more reduced it is, the more elegant and the more convincing the experiment is. This is fundamentally against the concept of what art is. You cannot really have a reduced art. As a consequence, when you study art using empirical methods to understand human behavior, you have to take that leap of saying, I don't want to make any reductions in the content of what I am studying. Bahadur Barami is a senior scientist and director of the Crowd Cognition Lab at Ludwig Maximilian University in Munich, Germany. In collaboration with the Royal Holloway University of London, he and his colleagues are using new technologies to research how we make sense of art individually and particularly in group settings. In our project, what we are interested in is how people look at art, whether they do so differently when they're looking at art alone versus when they're in a group and looking at it and discussing it together. Interaction with others may change our experience of the environment. When people interact with each other, their behavior becomes similar to each other. We have devices, no bigger than these frame of glasses, that you can put on your eyes and go around and walk about freely, and they would track what you are seeing. They also interpret which part of your field of view you're paying attention to. You have a whole psychology laboratory measurement device on your head, just walking around and collecting data. The overwhelming majority of research that is done on human behavior, on human cognition, on, on, on brain, is done studying people behaving privately, individually. Whereas the reality of life is that we constantly and almost always are in the presence of others. In the laboratory, what we do is we, we create a structure or, or a, a context similar to a museum with, with, with several artworks around the laboratory. And, and we give people the measurement devices and we ask them to go around and, and see them. The presence of others can massively change both our mental states as well as our performance. Our measurement system allows us to compare relative to the individual benchmark whether their behavior in a group resembles each other more or less. In which case, we can say herding has happened because everybody has paid attention to the same thing. Or it could be that extra exploration has happened. And together, we have discovered and looked at things that we would not have looked at if I was alone. This gives us a unique opportunity to go beyond what the art world has so far been doing, which has been the artist making an artwork and then presenting it to the visitors. And the direction of input has always been from the artist to the visitor. Now, what we can do is that we can reverse this direction. With the help of, of this kind of technology, we can create better, more interactive environments. 